Well then, here we are again, doing some Xenoverse ranked matches, this time with my main character. And yeah, it wouldn't let me go into a quick match, so I had to start my own fucking thing. So as you can see from the title of this video, it's called Attack of the Tryhards, because I fight an Ultra Instinct Goku, a Hit, and a Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I whip Ultra Instinct, Hit whips me, and Super Saiyan Blue Goku whips me. Just to get that out of the way. There's also two fights in here that aren't tryhards. But because I fought them in this video, I didn't feel like editing them out because they were actually pretty good. I left them in. But this is just me waiting for the first match. Um, There's just one thing I have to say about these tryhards that use Awoken Hit and Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I would like it to be known that both of these people used um, those characters. Wait, I, I know Super Saiyan Blue Goku used that used that character after I had beaten him once. I don't know if that was the same for Hit, but wouldn't be surprised. And I mainly use Rose Goku Black. I do use Fuse Samasu and get my ass kicked once. And I use my custom pan because technically the, ho the whole point of me doing ranked matches is for me to main pan. I actually want to do that. And I want to stream that at some point. Go to the wastelands like I normally do. And first match. Ultra Instinct Goku. At this point, I fought Ultra Instinct so many goddamn times. You just... You, you can't beat me with Ultra Instinct Goku at this point. I've fought it way too many damn times now he wasn't bad with it I kept burning my stamina also pretty much all of my fights start with that grab every single fight that Rose is in starts with that grab I don't know why they just gave me the perfect opportunity to do it <clears throat> and this guy clearly doesn't really know how to use Ultra Instinct but obviously he's gotten his BP from it because if he knew how to use Ultra Instinct Goku, I'd already have like half health. Let's be honest here. Ultra Instinct Goku isn't the biggest tryhard Goku, but people think just because you can dodge everything and you're like and you and he's kind of powerful, that means he's unbeatable. But he's not. As you can see, I broke his stamina and got him with that, and it was over in under a minute. Because that's what happens when you step to me with Ultra Instinct Goku. He's not as good as you think he is. Unless you actually know how to use him. Now that was one of only like two fights that I actually won in this video. And I've stated this before. I don't mind taking L's in ranked matches. Because it's all about getting better. But when it comes to taking L's to tryhards and you know cheap bastards that use characters like Super Saiyan Blue Goku I, I, I just don't appreciate it it's like actually be good at the game don't rely on Goku's stupid back hits and fucking super god fist or hit stupid speed same with Super Saiyan Gogeta and I, 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 I fight this person twice. I think this is the guy that loses. I don't think he... Actually, I don't think he loses. No, this isn't the guy that loses. This is the guy that beats me twice. Once with Mira and then once with his CAC, I believe. This is when I... That was also when I used uh, Fuse Zamasu. From what I remember, this guy was good. If my memory is right, this guy was good. Okay, yeah. I, I took a well-deserved L in the two fights I had with this guy. And I'm going to leave this fight in just because, well, what do you, think of this you know, I, I, I want to show off what a good player is. And I'm actually not even going to talk that much throughout this fight because I actually just like the fight. Yeah, I lost, but that doesn't mean it wasn't an okay fight. 
It wasn't good on my part, it was good on his part, so. I mean, I could very clearly tell that, you know, he was good with Mira, but I don't know if he would have been as good with another character. He's he's that good with a CAC too, but he really should be. Your CAC should be your, you know, most well-known character. You shouldn't be able to play a character better than your CAC. That just doesn't make sense. You try to anticipate me there, but I'm like, yeah, I, I knew you were going to do that. I also really wasted my stamina in this fight, and I don't understand why. Probably because I was panicking, because Mira does a lot of damage. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Although I didn't really understand how I would punch him, and he would still be able to go back. I think it was fucking netcode, because his connection wasn't that great. And this is when I took the L. Yeah, he stamina broke me from down there. It's really weird. And then he did the most unnecessary thing in the world. Literally, you could have hit me with a charged key blast and like, like right. a heavy key blast, and I would have died. Luckily, I don't lose much BP for losing to people like that. And also, that's that's the same reason why I'm only at like 2,000 BP. Cause I I beat I beat one person that had like 60,000 BP, and that's how I got the 2,000. If it wasn't for that one victory, I would literally have like maybe th three or 400 BP. Because they only stick you with people who either have zero BP or people who have fucking 70,000 BP, and it's really ridiculous. Why can't there be a setting to where I can fight people within my BP range like within within 2000 BP of me whether whether it be up or down I guess in that regard someone with zero BP would be actually acceptable but whatever I don't care Just put it in Xenoverse 3 please and the reason I was doing these ranked matches was actually to get some footage for a podcast that I plan on doing. Uh, th uh, there'll be more on that in an upcoming video at some point. I'll, I'll be talking in depth about the podcast that I'll be starting. Uh, episodes will be live. Well, not live, but they'll be on YouTube. Maybe, maybe I'll do a few of them live. But they'll mainly just be on YouTube. And I was doing ranked matches without pan just so that I could get some footage for that. Okay, yeah, here's a woken hit. Here's the second, uh, well, not really the second tryhard. Ultra Instinct Goku isn't a tryhard character because you actually do need to know how to use him. Hits. I if if I had never played this game before, and I just picked up a Woken hit, went into a ranked match. Never played the game before. I bet you, if they had under ten thousand BP, I'd win. Because that's how broken hit is. Same with Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Like, un unless you severely fuck up, it's like almost impossible to lose with a Woken hit or Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Unless you're up against another broken character, character or a CAC. But like, good luck trying to beat Hit with the uh, fucking uh, Birder. I mean, I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure there are people who main Birder that are able to defeat even Super Saiyan Gogeta with him, but there are reasons why I don't use Hit, Super Saiyan Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Like th there, there are specific reasons why I don't, and this is one of them. He's just way too fast. I don't know why I did that. I started to panic because I was getting a little bit triggered. I was already triggered at the fact that this man used a woke hit. And he and he tries to do an infinite combo and fucks it up. It's like if you're gonna be dis I mean if if, if you're gonna be a woken hit and he uses infinite combo, at least have the decency to do it right. <laughs> I'm not mad that he that he tried to use it because my stamina was broken. My whole thing with it is if your stamina's broken, fine, get hit with an ultimate um, with an infinite combo. I don't care. I do it with Zamasu. But only after I've broken someone's stamina. But, 
You're going to be awoken hit. Use an infinite combo. Fuck it up. <laughs> and yeah, he picked up the W, but I don't respect the W. Because he was awoken hit. Truthfully, I don't, like, if, if you ever, oh, okay, I'm fighting this man's again. I believe he used his Namekian uh, CAC and holy shit, he beats my ass. I catch him a few times, but not for any more than, like, five seconds. And the reason I don't use my CAC in, in these ranked matches is because my CAC is made for PvP against players that I have time to figure out. So if I'm playing against you in PvP, I normally use other characters first before I ever try to use my CAC because I don't really like having my CAC lose. So... I'm sure I would win more if I used my CAC, but I just don't like it. I'm also actually not. Like, I know how I said earlier that you should always be better with your CAC, but technically, I would honestly have to say that I'm probably better at Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and Goku Black than I am with, like, most of my presets. I'm only really good with one of them. Well, no, I'm good with two of them, but... Man tries to get me with that special beam cannon and it didn't work. It was like, I don't mind taking an L in this fight because this guy's actually good. Granted, the netcode saved him a few times. I mean, did you see that? He kicked me from about 10 feet away. But he knows what the fuck he's doing. Look at me trying to anticipate and failing. And that's the reason why I included my fights with him. I could have edited them out, but I was like, no. Because I want to show off the tryhards, and I want to show off the people who are actually legitimately good. Oh yeah, I'm not saying anything because I'm legitimately looking at the match and seeing like where I fucked up. There's so many places. That one kind of made me upset. I was like, those fucking stretchy arms, are you kidding me? But yeah, that that's when I lost. And up next is... <sighs> The second match that I won, followed by another Mr. Tryhard. Well, it, it was this, the next opponent is Mr. Tryhard, but I beat him and then he goes Super Saiyan Blue Goku like an ass. So, he's got zero BP. I don't know how. I'm sure if you just use Super Saiyan Blue Goku every time, you'd have about 10,000. And I, right, right then I was trying to decide whether I should use Pan. I did. And I actually... Cut out the first fight because it wasn't really necessary. So this, this is the second fight that me and this guy had. And I, I had beaten him with Goku Black beforehand, and then he comes up with Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And keep in mind, I'm, I'm fucking Pan. Although he got me with that stamina break, I don't know why I didn't go away. But he can't capitalize. He stamina breaks me again, and could, and can't cop capitalize a second time either. And this is why I'm making this video, because the rest of his damage are those fucking throws. He spams the hell out of those throws. And I catch him a few times, but not enough. He spams the hell out of those throws. Normally I see people abusing Super God Fist or the fucking helicopter kick. Never before have I fought a Goku that's spammed a throw. Which shows you that he doesn't even know what the fuck he's doing. 
He didn't even know it. He doesn't even know how to. And also, when I did that, I had actually meant to use Justice Combination. But I forgot which one I set it to on my on my custom character. And he just keeps throwing. He just keeps on doing it. Misses with that Kamehameha. I believe he does another one. No, he does a Super Kamehameha. This is when I got him with that justice combination. See, the fact that I could do this much damage to you and your Super Saiyan Blue Goku should just prove how inexperienced you really are. Perfect block your shit. And then he finishes it off with a throw. That shit triggered me to the point where I actually left ranked and then invited him to a one-on-one -on -one match. Like, I went into player match and wanted to fight this man again because that shit triggered the fuck out of me. He never joined, unfortunately. Kinda sucked. I was... I was looking forward to try hurting him too. And see, I immediately leave the room and try to get this man to fight me. And it, it, it just doesn't happen. And it's quite unfortunate because it would have been some great footage. I would have made man's rage quit so quickly. I would have used one of I would have used one of my greatest mains. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. <laughs> Possibly even Toa. But it just wasn't meant to be. I waited there for a little bit. Nothing happened. So basically, the takeaway from this damn near 20 minute video that I want everyone to understand is don't be a try hard spammer. If you're going to be in ranked, be in ranked to actually learn. Don't be in ranked just for the sake of building your BP. Be in ranked because you actually want a good like good fights actual good matches that's why I'm in ranked I'm in ranked so I can learn characters I plan on doing a big pan stream at some point just no matter how many L's I take I will be on a mission to get at least 5,000 BP with with pan in one stream or until like four hours goes by whichever comes first and I hope you all will enjoy me for that. But, yeah. Don't spam. Don't be a tryhard and ranked. Actually want to learn something. But, that's it for this video, guys. Ugh. I still can't believe that shit. Actually, you know what? I have more shit to say. And that is... If you're gonna be a tryhard, do it with your friends. Don't bring it to ranked. Because people who actually want to learn or have good matches in ranked don't need people who just want to look cool with all their BP. And then when you fight them, you're like, oh, wait, that's why you have so much BP. You only use Awoke, Awoken Hit. You only use Super Saiyan Blue Goku. You only use Ultra Instinct. It's like, no. I want to main Pan. You think Pan is a tryhard character? No. Goku Black? No. And I edited one fight out as well. And it was... Was it Vegito Blue? I believe I did. I can't even remember what the fuck I did. <laughs> but it was... I, I, th I think it was Vegito Blue. I'm going to look back at this video and be like, wait, Vegito Blue was in there. Shit. But anyway. I don't mind Vegito Blue either. He's fast as hell, but he's easy to get around, especially if you know him. He's like, he he's no different from Ultra Instinct Goku, really. He just has more stamina. That's it. And you can actually hit him. <laughs> and he's got more health. Basically, he's just a beefed up version of Ultra Instinct. So if, if you know how to beat Ultra Instinct, 
you kind of know how to beat Vegito Blue. You just have to watch out for a few different things. So I don't mind him. But Super Saiyan Gogeta, Awoken Hit, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, um, let's see. Like, all, all these God Tier characters, they, they, they just need to stop being used. And people are probably going to ask, why are you so mad about this? It's because it doesn't take any skill to use those characters. And that's what Ranked is about. Ranked is about skill. Not a tryhard. Not someone who's just going to let the game cheat them to a victory. Winning with a Woken Hit, Super Saiyan Gogeta, or Super Saiyan Blue Goku is basically like the net code letting you is basically like the net code not letting any of my attacks hit but letting every one of your attacks hit it, it's basically like me just standing there and, and not fighting you at all I might as well not doesn't matter what I do your character you're most likely gonna beat me unless you fuck up cuz I'm not the greatest at this game and that's why I'm in ranked I wanna learn I wanna get better but I can't get better against people like that yeah, I could learn how to fight hit. It's not fighting hit that's the problem. It's fighting people who are actually good with these characters. And when people are good with these characters, that makes me worry even more. But I've, I've already broken the 21 minute mark. I'm about to break 22 minutes. So I'm going to shut up here and just say stop. Okay? Just get good, damn it. Uh... I mentioned a podcast earlier in the video uh, that is a thing that is still going to happen. I will do a, an update video for that, and hopefully I can get some ranked footage to put over it without, you know, me raging. Because I don't want to do PQ quests. I mean, I guess I could just take footage of me Dragon Ball farming, but that's kind of boring for me. Let alone you guys. But anyway. <sighs> Shit sucks, man. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe and become an inmate to the asylum if you haven't already. And I will see all you inmates back here at the asylum in the next video. Peace, motherfuckers. Thank you.